do my best to do a uh, part two on Obama and his obsession to with his legacy. It's a video reaction in D styles. I'm um, gonna continue breaking down this bullshit. Uh, here we go. Right. I mean, look at what they did. Look at what he. Look at how a lot of shit backfired on him. Just right. Look at it. When he had power. Republican rhetoric. Right. Whatever he, legislation he was trying to pass or anything like that, right? Instead of doing what the Republicans do when they have power, they just do whatever the fuck they want to do, right? Hey, instead of breaking, you know, constitutional rights like the, like the Republicans do, Obama decided to go his own way. Fucking bastard. Instead of doing what, you know, the people that voted him in to do, he would try and already, before he even started negotiating with the Republicans, he would meet them in what he thought was the middle. And it probably was. And Republicans will... Oh, shit. God damn. Fuck him for a bipartisan agreement. Fuck him. Go out on TV and Fox News and say, this guy doesn't want to work with us. I mean, this guy's being... I mean, this guy... I mean, he, he went in with the mentality that I'm going to change these people. I'm going to make them like me. He's oh, that's what he wanted. He wanted Republicans to like him. make Republicans and Republican voters like him. Shit, he said it. The same people that called him a terrorist... The same people that called him a secret Muslim atheist, right? The the same people that say he's a member of ISIS in the White House. The same people that say he really was not born in Hawaii. He was actually born in Kenya. The same people that would... Like, Obama fought tooth and nail to try to convince everyone about Trump. That Trump was a troll. Right. In this whole political debate, he was a troll. He was the one representing that you are not an American citizen. You were born in Kenya. You shouldn't be president. And Obama tried competing with those in, in the political office that were challenging him. And he tried. And somehow through all of that, it's viewed as if. He's kissing their ass. Or demanding a birth certificate. You know, he spent eight years of his presidency trying to make those people like him. Eight years, that's what he those did. Those people didn't vote Apparently. for him. Right? Those are the people that voted for McCain, for Romney. What the fuck are you doing? Nobody's saying he's not their president, too, and screw them over. No. God damn. What that means is is that you ran as a candidate of change. Okay. As a candidate, right, you ran with a certain platform. Right. And you were voted by the majority, by a long shot, for that change. Did you vote in a dictator or did you vote in a president? Because if you voted in a president... There's a lot of things the pre there's a lot of things that the president can't do. And there's a lot of things that the president shouldn't do. Here's the problem. D Styles, he's not a dictator. He doesn't have that kind of power. And what did you do? You turned your back on every single one of them. That's why. In 2016, 5 million less people voted for you. Yeah, millions of people voted less for both the Republican Party and the Democratic Party. Actually, voting was down in that election for everyone in general. And Obama still won. So it doesn't matter. Right. And, and, and just to say that people didn't vote does not mean it was because they were unsatisfied with Obama. It could have been that they were so satisfied with Obama that they felt confident that he was going to be voted in a second term. 
He still won. He still slaughtered Romney. That's the point. He slaughtered Romney. What the fuck right? are you talking about? With those about? numbers, he would have still beaten, you know. Jesus fucking, let me fast forward this bullshit. And then you turn around. Turn around. And <laughs> you're, you're turn Darth around. Vader 2.0. Oh, this fool right? is going just, to just a replacement of Darth Vader. Fuck. You know, it's, it doesn't resonate well with people. Right? It doesn't resonate well with people. They didn't get rid of the Patriot Act. They talked all this shit about the Patriot Act. They didn't get rid of it. They didn't get rid of the NSA. Unconstitutional shit, right? They didn't get rid of any of these things. Why, and why didn't he get rid of them? Why? Because he was scared of criticism. Why? Because Yoda, if he got if rid of the Patriot the Act, or at least attempted to, truth about he was scared the, the Republicans were going to attack him. Retard. Tell me why, Yoda. That's, and you know, he was scared that if he got rid of the Patriot yeah, Act, he was scared. and a terrorist attack happened, they were going to blame him That's why. for that terrorist attack because oh, he got rid of the Patriot Act. He was scared because he was going to be criticized. That's this guy's entire point. This entire video has to do with he thinks that Obama was kissing up to Republicans and to white people calling him a coon. That's what he's calling him. Low key. Look at the bullshit. That's why he didn't do it, right? I mean, the, the level of... I mean, I, I, I can't, for the life of me... You can't. You know, been called a, like an undercover Republican for a long time. He's an undercover but Republican now. I wouldn't go that far, right? But Fuck, you shouldn't. For whatever reason... Let's fast forward this bullshit. This guy... Do shit. Right? And that's the reality, and that, that is the reality that people that call themselves Democrats need to come with. They, they need to come to grips with that. Right? That's the reality liberals have to come up come, come to. Come, Progressives come, come, have to come, 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 come to. Come. That this dude was not a real progressive. He wasn't. No. The problem is, is that you do not know how the government works. And you had high expectations to solve problems that were hundreds of years old. And the problem is, is that you expected the black man to be able to handle everything. He walked in there. He tried his best. He had his challenges. That's the truth. And to go in there and act like he just fucking let go of his job and not gave a fuck because he knew he was going to retire good is a fucking bullshit lie. How do you go tell voters you better come out and vote? I'll take it as a personal insult if you don't go out and vote for Hillary. Like, like what? Do you know the dire fucking need to fucking vote against Trump? Are you arguing that? Were, are you are you arguing? Like, are you okay? Here's the thing. If you're cool with Trump being president and you think not that much is going to change, then shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. If you really think nothing's going to change and you think everything's going to be chill and everyone's overreacting, then shut the fuck up. But for those of us who understand, those of us who voted for Bernie, those of us who understand that there's a lot on the line, we know that there's a real reason why people should have voted against Trump. The running mate was Hillary. We were voting against Trump. That was the point. Well, don't vote because they don't want to insult somebody. What the fuck? What type of arrogance is that? Bullshit. Like, forms. He just becomes this other dude. Right? It's just unbelievable. But let me say this. If Bruce I fast forward is concerned it. about his legacy, right? If he really is concerned about his legacy, right? The legacy of change is too late. But there are some things you can do, all right, starting now, that will put Donald Trump on the defensive big time. Oh, all right. Let's listen to D. Stouts, President D. Stouts. What can he do? All right. First thing you do. First thing. Hey, those cops are illegally in federal land. Fucking first. Get them those the fuck cops. out of Standing Rock. Just get the fuck okay, out. And declare Standing Rock a national monument. Boom. Boom. We're done. Done. Right? There's going to be no fucking public Figure it out. What we're going to do when Trump comes in anyway. I don't give a shit. This fucker sounds like Trump. 
Hey, you want to stop the fucking flow of illegal immigrants? You know what we do? I'm just going to fucking put up a wall. Boom. Done. Problem solved. Fucking retards. Then you do it when Trump comes in. All right? You do that. Have a press conference about it. Invite the Native Americans over. Right? Make a big deal about it. Yeah, just invite the that Americans way, over. Right, when, Native Americans over. Just Trump invite decides, them. Yeah, Have a little fucking powwow. Right, anyway, I'm going to reverse the... I'm going to give another presidential order, right? And we're going to do it anyway, right? Everybody's forced to cover it. And everything will be okay. That's all you got to yeah, do, you man. Know, that's just too much. Hope. That's all you got to do, man. I mean, he's going to get criticized for being anti-police. This motherfucker. I, I don't know if I could do it. You know? If something oh, happens, I'm gonna check let me tell you something. When and if, because it, it's gonna happen. What's gonna if happen? And when, because it will happen. When I'm not sure, but that pipeline's gonna burst because they burst all the time. Oh, this motherfucker's talking about twenty years from now that that pipeline's gonna burst. <sighs> Look, if you're not out there standing or you're not doing shit, shut the fuck up. Obama's about to get out of office. We're worried about what's gonna happen in the next couple months. What's What's going to happen in the next four years? It's not just Trump. It's not just Trump. It's the green light that's going to happen to everyone else that has been using Trump and his ideals and the rhetoric that he's been using as sort of a way of life. Fuck Mexicans. Fuck black people. And we need to turn back America the way it used to be. The way it used to be. And if you guys think that that's Obama... Fuck you. This Aztec 101 in the ring. Cut the bullshit.